so we're uh, about to leave Miami and we're on our way to San Francisco to go look at a 1980 Countach and a couple other vintage Lamborghinis. Good morning, San Francisco. We're here uh, on our way right now to go see a 2001 Lamborghini Diablo 6 liter and a couple very rare old Lamborghini Countach examples, which is something that we specialize in. So uh, we're going to do a lot of videos featuring older Lamborghini V12, sort of the backbone of, of the company's history and what makes it so iconic. <laughs> Your apples. <laughs> you have, how many apples did you steal from the W? Two. Go to the left. Hey, hey, hey. Take it easy. Where face. <laughs> so we're in San Francisco. We rented a Shelby Hertz Mustang. What better way to explore San Francisco in such an iconic car, not only iconic car for the world, but iconic car for the city, who remembers Bullet. Maybe not everyone in the younger generation, but uh, maybe maybe we can go try to uh, duplicate some of the scenes from the video later. We can start racing around like, Seriously, to me, there's nothing like that. <laughs> On our way to 
Lake Tahoe. been a very long, long drive. The Mustangs held up well, and now we're gonna go find ourselves a 1980 Lamborghini Countach. What a better way to take this road trip than to take it in the iconic Shelby Hertz Mustang. You're gonna laugh, I've driven probably everything imaginable from Ferrari F50s to you name it, but I've never actually driven a new Shelby Mustang. So I have to be honest, I was actually very, very excited. And uh, it's been an awesome car for this trip. And now we're on our way to see the 1980 Countach. Very famous car, it's actually been in featured in a ton of magazines in the 80s. There's even model cars of it. Uh, that were produced. Um, I found the car by accident. Uh, I was surfing Instagram and I saw someone posting the car in a uh, like a storage area. Uh, I called the, the person and I actually sent a DM to the person that was uh, posting the photo. They put me in touch with the storage facility and voila, here we are. And I was shocked to find that car disappeared probably sometime in the mid 80s um, after its, its famous magazine articles etc and uh, somehow ended up in Nevada of all places for the past almost 30 years so we'll see what it looks like so what are essentials to a road trip obviously you have your navigation your map your navigation partner me and uh, you have your road trip music is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide No escape from reality Open your eyes Look up to the skies and see Easy go, easy go, little Here's a low body series three car. You can tell by the door panels, you can tell by the dash, you can tell by the wing. A few differences between the later 5000 S cars. Original P7R tires. You never see these anymore. Looks like the tread is pretty good. A ton of little stone chips on the rocker. The If you look at this wing, it's a different style wing than the later cars. This is an, a true early low body Countach. So if you really look, looks like the spark plug wires are not original. Everything else looks original. Somebody actually, at some point, the heads even say Countach Turbo. Twin Turbo, designed by one of the low tech designers. Twenty-two thousand kilometers. The old low-body AC uh, unit with <laughs> something you wouldn't normally see on a Countach, the boost gauge. Original shift knob. Original mouse hair dash. The correct steering wheel.
25th anniversary with 957 kilometers. Very nice car. You can still see the wrapper on the cigarette uh, lighter. Original Alpine. The dash, they're normally very wavy and pulled because of heat. It's almost completely straight. The uh, seats are very nice. They still have their padding. A lot of this padding goes bad. The rubber's all original as you can see very clean car these aren't the most desirable but even in the engine and the trunk area all the caddy and plate is still good just very very nice original low mileage car so we're back in the car hauling our butt back to san francisco to catch our flight tonight It'll be about a four or five hour drive Thanks to uh, Shelby, maybe we can make it a three-hour drive. But uh, we just inspected the two Countaches. Most importantly, the 1980 turbo car, which was originally uh, built by the Lamborghini Swiss dealer Max Bobnar, a very, very famous guy. Uh, the car is extremely famous. It's been in magazines. It's been modeled as a toy. And um, I fell in love. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it needs some work. It's very, very original. 